Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. Hope everyone is well. Okay, so I just got done with the Aries reading. And as most of you know, who have been here for a while, I haven't made decisions the last couple of months. I'm letting a deck of cards make the decisions. So I got an old gilded deck here. I've pulled all the major arcana out. And those, you know, every major arcana is associated with a certain zodiac sign. So this is how I'm doing this. I have no idea what the next card is. No clue. I pre-shuffled these already. I know Virgo went first. Leo is going last. It's Virgo season. If it's your season, you go first. Just how it goes. But Leo went first last time we went around the wheel. So they're going last this time. I got to keep things fair. This for the 10 in between, I have no clue. So we just did Aries. Who's next? Sagittarius, it's your turn. There's a reason why I'm chuckling. Okay. Has something happened this morning? I'm not going to get into it. We'll talk about it later. Might end up being a flip side video. I don't know. Okay. We'll go. Bust out the steampunk deck again for our Sagittarius friends. This reading will be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. September 2020, if it resonates with you, cool. It is your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it does not resonate, check your placements, your moon, your rising, your Venus signs. If you think you might something... If I can make words work right now. Coffee's starting to work. If you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Okay. Time and energy are both fluid. So these events can be playing out right now. They could have already played out. They might play out in the future. All things can and be vice versa. It might play out from the perspective of cross watcher, which is the other person in the situation. Cross watchers are always welcome here. I feel you guys on a soul level. I do. I cross-watched for a long time. It's kind of how I got into tarot. But, and again, that's a long story for another day. All right. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, September 2020. Why you're here. What's going on with you? What's going on with the person you're dealing with? Obstacle. Possible resolution. Sagittarius, why are you here? Justice. Oh, justice. Some of you may want to level the playing field. Hmm. Justice comes out when there's been an injustice. When there's been an imbalance. Could be a Libra you're dealing with. Doesn't necessarily have to be. If it resonates, take it. If it don't, chuck it. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Ace of Cups. You want a new start. You want a full cup again. You want to fill their cup again. Okay. What do you think of them? Queen of Wands reversed. You may have trouble confronting this, or you think they may have trouble confronting it. I'm not going to say no forward movement or no action. I'm going to say delayed. We'll throw a clarifier on in a minute. What do you want from them? Queen of Cups. You want emotion. cool queen of cups too. She's got two cups in her hand, not just one. See this one? This one up here is being filled. This one down here is being spilled. So it's about the give and take of emotion. Okay. 
how do they feel about you? Ace of Pentacles. New start in abundance. Justice comes out when there's been an imbalance and an injustice in a situation. This comes out when a playing field needs to be leveled. You guys are mirroring each other right now. I think a houseplant wants to come in off the back deck. Okay. What do they think of you? The magician. Manifesting new beginnings. Every single ace is represented by this card. Every ace. New start in passion. New start in abundance. New start in love. New start in communication. This is the start over card. So either they think that's what you want or that's what they want what they're thinking about. It's what's going in their head. Wow, Sag. Somebody got the shine for you. What do they want from you? I think the pentacles reversed. That just got shaky. Okay. Somebody here could have self-worth self -worth issues. We'll throw a clarifier on that in a second. All I'm hearing is self-worth, self-worth, self-worth. Something was overbuilt. What's the obstacle? Wheel of Fortune. Karmic cycles, upward turn of events. The cycles end and begin with the tent. You have to close the chapter before you can start a new one. All right. Possible resolution, three of swords. Hmm. Sagittarius, why you got to be like that? I'm not totally blaming you. I am once. Don't even. Don't even. We're going to throw some clarifiers on now. All right. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity on the cards on the table for Sagittarius? September 2020. Did one flip? No. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Six of Pentacles. You want a new start in love. It's fair and equal, even equal give and take. One more. You want to talk. Hi. These cups reversed. It's how you feel. You want the cup to be full again because right now the cup's empty. 
Why is the Queen of Wands here reversed here? For how Sagittarius feels about the other or thinks of the other person. What Sagittarius thinks of the other person. Why is the Queen of Wands reversed here? Four of Wands. Doors opening, foundation, celebration, 11 11 twin flame, if that's your thing. If that's your thing. Definitely a card of connection. Three of Pentacles reversed. The connection's there. You're hesitant on whether you want to go through with it or not. Foundation is still very unsteady. It's like it couldn't come together before. That's why this Ace of Cups is reversed too. It didn't come together before. The connection's there, but will it come together again? Okay. Why is the Queen of Cups here? For what the other person wants. Ah. Wow. Why is the Queen of Cups here for what Sagittarius wants from the other person? Ten of Swords reversed, Queen of Cups, Queen of Cups, clarifying a Queen of Cups. Sun hasn't shined in a while, has it? This cycle didn't end. You just want the pain to be over with. This was extremely excruciatingly painful. Again, justice shows up when there has been an injustice. When things were not fair. You still feel this, Sagittarius. I think you, you just want to know if they felt something. Okay. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? For how the other person feels about Sagittarius. options I feel like it could be a new start in abundance it could be a start over there's possibilities of coming off the back deck and back into the house seed planted long ago just needed time to grow all that happy jazz why is the seven of cups here oh hit the floor why don't you really in a wand's reversed. It's not moving forward. There's no communication. Nobody's talking. There's options. What cup do you take? And there's some of those cups have some not so rosy things in them. Maybe the other person's weighing their options. Do I? Don't I? Five of Wands, they just... 
avoidance of conflict. Maybe they just... It's avoidance of conflict. There's been an injustice here. Something wasn't fair. Hmm. Okay, why is the magician here? For what the other person thinks of Sagittarius. Why is the magician here? I'm not taking 20 cards. Ten of Cups reversed is on top. We're going to see if it comes back out. Two of Wands comes out. Okay. Six of Wands. Forward movement. Letting go of that wand of the past, moving forward toward that wand of the future. Choosing which path you're going to go down. Possibility of a return. Why is the Six of Wands here? Seven of Wands. Regaining control of some inner demons. Maybe that's where the conflict came in. Sagittarius, you're a little wishy-washy here. I mean, you really are. It's like you want to, but you're like, I don't know. And they're like, you're still mirroring each other, for sure. It's like, uh, I feel it, but... Conflict avoidance... Battling air demons. Wanting to manifest new beginnings. Letting go of the past and moving toward the future. Okay. Why is the King of Pentacles reversed here? What the other person wants from Sagittarius? Why is the King of Pentacles here reversed? Karma. Judgment. <sighs> Death, resurrection, rebirth. One more, please. Knight of Swords reversed. Communication has been blocked. Seven of Swords, Ten of Wands, the Lovers. Somebody wants to get something off their chest in regards to this connection. Why is the Seven of Swords here? King of Pentacles reversed. Flew out. I think somebody was left feeling extremely unworthy or they felt very unworthy. And that's why they bounced. That's why they bailed. Somebody, 
Sagittarius, somebody wants to get something off their chest and try to resurrect this. But the communication's been blocked and they can't. Or with this Knight of Swords reversed, you know, they just can't spit the words out. They, they can't get the courage up. Alright, why is the Wheel of Fortune here for the obstacle? King of Wands. Could be another fire sign you're dealing with, Sagittarius. Confrontation, passion, I want what I want and I want it now. Somebody could have had the I want what I want and I want it now attitude and the other person was like, no. Hmm. Sagittarius, do you think that could have been you? On point. Funny thing about fire signs, we want what we want and we want it right now and in five minutes we might not want it and that's just the way we are. They call the air signs the indecisive ones? No. Mm. No. Mm. Fire signs are just as prone to changing their mind. Mm. I love you all equally. You know that. Mm. That's what makes us all so fun. It's not our sun signs. It's our placements. Mm. All right. One more card on this Wheel of Fortune, please. Confrontation, passion, I want what I want and I want it now. Two. Seven of Pentacles reverse, six of cups reverse. Somebody got impatient. I want what I want and I want it now. Somebody got impatient. Somebody was left with salty feelings. That's the obstacle. Somebody got very, very hurt. Alright, what can be done? Three of Swords. Why is the Three of Swords here? The Star. Y'all gotta let me know if this person's been showing up in your dreams. This is the 5D Conflict Resolution card. This is the healing card. This is the they're showing up in your dreams card. 5D stuff. Not down here. See, we see all of our soulmates in our dreams because that's when we go play up in the 5D. Sleep time. Or, you know, when we die, but we're not going to talk about that. Healing after the heartbreak needs to take place. Improving how we communicate. Power reversed. Wow. Okay, Sagittarius. Well, the cards. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. It's a hard pill to swallow. This is one thing about Sagittarius. When we get hurt, oh God. <laughs> there is no going back from that. We are some of the most unforgiving people. I have grudges from childhood. <laughs> I have grudges I've been holding on to for 30 and 35 years. I do. I'm going to be 40 this fall. Sagittarius is going to one thing we're going to hold a grudge. You might have to let go of this grudge. You have to let go of those feelings. Because the cards are calling for a healing and a rebuilding of a tower. Yeah, you were left with salty feelings, but somebody got impatient. And Sagittarius, you are not known for your patience. I want what I want, and I want it now, even if I only want it for five minutes. 
divine timing, it wasn't time yet. Let's throw one more card on this. One more. Queen of Wands. This is a woman who knows her worth. She's very intuitive. She knows what's up. She knows what's going on. Somebody needs to get their passion back for something. Got a king and a queen here. The queen of wands is reversed over here, so maybe we need to turn her back up into the upright. Because the queen of wands in the reverse isn't quite sure what she wants. She's mixed up. She's hesitant. This is calling for no hesitation. No hesitation. They say the king leads his troops into battle. I think the queen does. Because I, I indeed think that the queen is slightly less hesitant than the king. The king leads his troops into battle not knowing or caring what the outcome is going to be. This woman, she manifests the outcome she wants. She knows what's up. Okay, let's get some advice from my Sagittarian friends. Wow. Wow. Nine of Wands and Strength. One last time. One last good go around. It's going to call for strength. It's going to call for admitting the, the polarities and the differences in this connection. Could be a Leo you're dealing with. Doesn't necessarily have to be. I, I got Aries over here. Fact, yeah. I got Aries. I got Scorpio. I got Aquarius. A little bit of everybody. A little bit of everything. I got Gemini. This is going to call for trust. This is going to call for strength. These two trust each other. That, that little girl right there has got to trust that lion's not going to bite her head off. And that lion's got to trust that she's not going to choke him out. Or make that wound in his paw any worse. That's trust. You have to trust the process, Sagittarius. You have to trust the process. You have to trust yourself again. The sun, upright, the ten of wands in the reverse. Ten of wands reverse came back out. The only one with the power to end this painful cycle is you. The only one with the power to allow the sun to shine again in your life is you. It's not the other person, it's you. You have the power within yourself to end this pain. No hesitation. The hair fit in the upright, the moon in the reverse. I have a very funny feeling that things are about to be illuminated. A lot of things are about to come to light. I have a very funny feeling that this was a blessed soulmate connection. It was meant to teach you something. And though you may not have known why in the beginning, you're about to know why. So buckle up, sunshine. I think this has been a long time coming. And you need to get ready for a lot of truths to come out.
Justice and the King of Swords. <sighs> justice pops out when there has been an injustice. Justice pops out to level the playing field back out. And sometimes you level that playing field back out when you have honest conversations and you make non-emotional decisions. When you communicate. So, if you want balance to restore, you better ready to get sat down and ready to open your mouth. Honest conversations. Non-emotional decisions. You're the mutable fire sign. You think things through a little bit more before you jump off the cliff. You think of all the possible outcomes. You're about the airiest of the fire signs. One more on this. Two of Pentacles in the reverse, Page of Wands in the upright. You need to get a handle on your emotions. And ease up on the juggling before you move forward with this. You need to come back into balance. You need to come back into balance. The universe is about to attempt to balance things out. It's not going to work if you're not balanced. So take a breath. Take a weekend. Bathe in some sage and pink Himalayan salt. Drink some chai tea. Some red wine. Do some yoga. I'm going to. I have like three pairs of yoga pants now. I've discovered yoga. Yeah, Big Mama Sag is going to do yoga. Can you believe that? Anyway, I love you guys. It's been a half hour. Let me know if it resonated. I don't know if this one kind of gave me the eebie-jeebies. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Be blessed, friends. I love you guys to bits. Catch you next time.